Basically, we can answer this question in two ways. Firstly, is a personality test valid? i.e. does it actually measure the thing we call personality? And secondly, is it reliable? So if I were to retake a personality test at a later time, would I get the same result as I get today? That's exactly what we're gonna find out. So today we're gonna to run our own little experiment. I'm gonna take two personality tests and I'm gonna come back to them a few months later in a part two and we'll see if the results have changed. If they are different, then I guess they're a waste of time. Or my personality has changed. So if you've ever wondered what is your personality type Francis, do you have a personality, then today you're going to get your answer. First up is the Myers-Briggs personality test, which I think is probably the most popular in mainstream society. You might be familiar with all of these various types, but it's not so popular among psychology academics. So we'll just get started with this one. And so if you go to the description guys, I've actually recently got Amazon affiliate links, which means that if you click on any of those links to products such as my standing desk, my computer that I use to edit my videos, and you make a purchase on Amazon, not necessarily any of those items, but any item at all on Amazon, after clicking through my link, I get a small kickback at no cost to you. And while we're waiting on that, we shall not be able to do the official MBTI because I'm not paying $50. No wonder she's in the sun here, making $50 a pop. So 16 personalities seems to be somewhat based off Myers-Briggs. You get a freakishly accurate description of who you are and why you do things the way you do. I teared up a bit, never felt so understood. Wow, fantastic. Let's do it. I regularly make new friends. Um, I do meet people regularly on uh, PlayStation parties. Really great social scene. I spend a lot of free time exploring random topics. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. I stay calm under pressure. Mm. Meh. At social events you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. Is making the assumption that I go to social events. Not sure about that question. Uh, nah, I like to have multiple projects. You like to use organizing tools like schedules and lists. You know, as a YouTuber, obviously have Notion, so you have to say yes to that. Even a small mistake can cause you to doubt your overall abilities and knowledge. Yes. Um, that's bold. No, you're not too interested in discussing various interpretations and analyses of created works. Well, I agree with that. I'm not interested. So yeah, I agree with that. Very nice. Head over heart, heart over head. I'm in the middle. Yes, my sleep pattern is, uh, it doesn't qualify as a daily routine. Do I enjoy participating in group activities? Depends on the group. You like books and movies that make you come up with your own interpretation of the ending. No, I want to be told how to interpret an ending. Thank you very much. Interested in so many things that you find it difficult to choose what to try next. Yes. Prone to worrying that things will take a turn for the worse. Always. You avoid leadership roles in group settings. Hmm. I hope any potential employees aren't watching this. They're definitely not an artistic type of person. What do we think of these YouTube videos are? You think the world would be a better place if people relied more on rationality and less on their feelings? That's a bit Ben Shapiro. I'm going to say no. I enjoy watching people argue. No, that's kind of draining. I tend to avoid drawing attention to myself. I've started a YouTube channel, I guess, so no. Uh, my mood can change very quickly. I don't know. You lose patience with people who are not as efficient as you. Sometimes. You often end up doing things at the last possible. <laughs> I've literally got to get a train in 15 minutes, so I'll say yes. Uh, I've always been fascinated by the question of what if anything happens after death? Yeah, it's always a good conversation. You prefer to be around others than on your own. Depends on the others. Depends on the others. Uh, you become bored when the discussion gets highly theoretical. My first year of my master's has confirmed that to be a yes. You find it easy to empathise with a person whose experiences are very different from yours. Psychologist skills have got a agree there but obviously still needs a bit of work you usually postpone finalizing decisions for as long as yes after a long exhausting week a lively social event is just what you need no goodbye i enjoy going to no you like to have a to-do list for each day no i'm sorry ali abdal you rarely feel insecure you are often the one who contacts your friends and initiates activities depends on the social circle you're still bothered by mistakes that yes you rarely contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life. What's this like negative question? I've got to like think double negatively. Uh, your personal work style is clear to, to spontaneous bursts of energy. Yes. Last minute, spontaneous bursts of energy. That's how we roll. When someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it'll take them to feel disappointed in you. You feel more drawn to places with busy bustling atmospheres than quiet, intimate places. I mean, it depends on what kind of place it is that's busy. You know at first glance how someone is feeling Eh, I don't know. 
I don't know. I often feel overwhelmed. I feel overwhelmed. I feel overwhelmed with this test right now. <laughs> this is my personality. This is my personality right here. You feel confident that things will work out for you? No. Time for my results. But before that, I'm going to do the big five personality test, which measures five traits, openness, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism. And this is the personality test that academics in psychology just drool over. And it was basically half of my undergraduate degree. So let's see what it's saying. I mean, firstly, the graphic design, we've, we've gone back to like 1985 here, but at least we've got the whole test instead of 10 pages. So I'm the life of the party, <laughs> not at the party. I'm always prepared. No, I get stressed, yeah. I have a rich vocabulary, all about those wild words. I leave my belongings around. I mean, look how tidy, look how tidy this is. Therefore I can answer, no, I'm very tidy. I relax most of the time. Nah, I feel comfortable around people. Depends, I insult people. I just throw the insults at people on special occasions. Yes, I have a vivid imagination. I don't want to seem like I'm flexing, but yeah. I sympathize with others' feelings. Yeah. I make a mess of, yes. I seldom feel blue. No. Yeah, this feels way more personal than, than the other one. I start conversations. Sometimes. I'm not interested in other people's problems. Depends what the problem is, like if you're struggling to improve your KD on Call of Duty, then I'm not interested, but other problems, I am interested. Uh, I get chores done right up. Nope. Uh, I have excellent ideas. I mean, was this video an excellent idea? Let me know in the comments below, and until then I'll put neutral. I have little to say. I have a lot to say, I just often don't say it. I have a soft heart. Yeah. I often forget to put things back in their proper place. What is it with this personality test and tidying up? Like, this just feels like I'm being low-key told to tidy up my shit more. I'm a pretty tidy person normally. I get upset easily. Eh. I do not have a good imagination. Disagree. I talk to a lot of different people at parties. Once again, assuming I go to parties here. But back in the day, I used to, so we'll go neutral. I'm quick to understand things. I don't know, some, some things like editing these videos, I'll look up tutorials and understand them, but then I'll sit in my lectures just mind empty. So probably 50-50 there. I shirk my GCs. Oh yes. I have frequent mood swings. That's the same question as that. I don't mind being the center of attention. Again, we've, we've started a YouTube channel, so I can't really disagree. I get irritated easily. Nah. I spend time reflecting on things. Oh yes. I'm quiet around strangers. I know what I'm doing when I'm like introducing myself because it's like there's a set formula to follow and then afterwards when you can talk about whatever then it falls apart. I make people feel at ease. Let me know in the comments below if I make you feel at ease and until then I put neutral. I'm often exacting in my work. Okay I've said I use difficult words but I don't know what exacting means. Yes. I often feel blue. I mean I mean that again that's just the same question as that. I'm full of ideas. Yeah. So, extroversion. Individuals who score high are outgoing and social. Individuals who score high tend to be shut-ins. It's a bit brutal. Apparently I got 50th percentile, which is bang in the middle. Factor two, emotional stability. Oh, this is neuroticism. 30 neuroticism. I swear I'm like bare neurotic, but anyway. Agreeableness, am I friendly and optimistic? 40th percentile. Okay, 40th percentile, but it's a higher raw score than extroversion, so maybe I'm not friendly. High in agreeableness, I'm friendly and optimistic. Low, I'm critical and aggressive. Conscientiousness, oh no. Oh, 18th percentile, Jesus. I'm impulsive and disorganized. <laughs> no, no. It's probably accurate because of my, all my answers about deadlines. This has been a roasting. And finally, intellect, imagination, and my openness. People score low tend to be traditional and conventional, 70th percentile. I am a modern and unconventional. That's my vibe. So there we go. My 16 personalities result is adventurer, ISFP, 61% introverted, nice, 58% observant versus intuitive. I'm not actually sure what that means, but okay. Feeling versus thinking. I'm a feeler, yeah. Tactics respecting and judging. Okay, this isn't part of the Myers-Briggs, but as we can see, I'm a turbulent boy. Does this remind you of me? 
an artist. This is a proper like full explanation. This one's just like you are aggressive. You are impulsive, disorganized, critical and aggressive. You may have muttered to yourself, wow this is so accurate it's a little creepy. Or finally someone understands me. So I feel like reading this I am somewhat understood but I feel like all the personality types I can read and then feel a bit understood by all of them. We'll see next time if I get the same type. So my results are ISFP and this. If you're not subscribed already, subscribe so you can see part two at some point in a few months where I retake these tests and then we can have a, a proper discussion about them. Until then, feel free to pass the time by watching Marcus Brownlee tell you what he thinks of antidepressants.